As we have discussed before, I was born in the hill country in Kentucky. My relatives were all tobacco farmers there. When I was about three years old, my father decided that trying to raise tobacco was a terrible way to try to support a family and, and uh, make a living. So we packed up all, everything and moved to central Indiana where he went to work for Delco Remy Division of General Motors in Anderson, Indiana. I think he did a good thing by moving us there because we had a steady income and we grew up under good conditions in Indiana. I um, uh, was in high school from the time I was about 13 and um, during the time that I was in high school, I worked at a grocery store every afternoon and evening and weekends. But uh, I managed to get enough time to go to the YMCA and play some basketball and be involved in some athletics. And uh, as a result of that environment, uh, I worked, I went to the, I went through the technical section of Anderson High School and I came out in 1942 as top student in the technical section. I was in the upper 10% of my graduating class in high school and uh, was uh, invited to join the honor, the National Honor Society, which I did until I went to the first meeting and I found out it was all girls and me, so that was enough of that. <laughs> but anyway, when I graduated from high school, I had a job waiting at Delco Remy Division of General Motors. Um, I could have gone to work out in the production area there for about $2.69 an hour, or they also offered a salaried apprenticeship for like $115 a month, which was a lot less money, but I took the salaried apprenticeship because it had an opportunity for me to uh, sign up to go to General Motors Tech up at Flint, Michigan. And um, I went to work at Delco Remy and uh, took the test, and I think there were three out of 16 of us that got accepted to go to GM Tech. Uh, in the meantime, the war had started, it was getting pretty hot, and I had always wanted to fly ever since I was a little kid. I designed and built my own model airplanes and I was always interested in flying, so on Thanksgiving Day of 1942, uh, five of us got in one of my buddy's cars and went up to Bear Field at Fort Wayne, Indiana, and enlisted in the uh, U.S. Army Air Corps and went back to work and I was supposed to start my first uh, quarter at uh, GM Tech uh, in March of 43, but in February of 43 I got my call to active duty from Uncle Sam, so I missed my opportunity to go to GM Tech. So uh, I uh, w went into I got on the troop train at, um, in Indianapolis, Indiana. We took like two days and three nights to get from there down to Keesler Field at Biloxi, Mississippi. And uh, when we got off of the train, they lined us up along beside the, the train. And the first thing, it was black at night, it was dark. And the first thing that I heard when I heard anything at all was a voice saying, you guys is not privates, you, is, you guys is not cadets, you is privates. <laughs> so that's kind of how my uh, military career started. But we spent uh, nine weeks down at uh, Keesler Field in Biloxi, living in tents, and uh, uh, for a while we had some um, quarters of a, wood, of a wooden frame building with fold-out windows. And, Anyway, we learned to put up with the climate and learn to march and learn to salute and do all of the basic army stuff. And at the end of that time, uh, I was shipped to Bristol, Tennessee to what was called then a college training detachment. We went into a, a college there and 
we were the first troops to be in Bristol, Tennessee.